with the vows, I put a lot of thought into it, and I know you did you did as well. It's like so personalized. Um, for me, that was the most important thing that I'm, that I'm probably ever going to write. So I really wanted it to come from the heart. Watching it back, because um, we only watched the winnings back yeah. the other day, I was I was literally blotting. I was crying my eyes out. Uh, it was we're happy tears, of course, yeah. but just seeing because we didn't see a lot of the guests either. You know, when we're looking at each other doing the vows and just seeing how it touched everybody was such a nice moment, mm-hmm, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Um, so I think it lived up to expectations and way more. This was a beautiful moment. Best best day of our lives for sure. For sure. I couldn't stop crying. As soon as you said, like, two words, I was crying my eyes out. And even, you know, looking back on it, when we watched it last week, I could not stop crying. It was just the most beautiful, heartfelt moment. Um, you, you just never forget it. And even when he, um, they printed us off our vows, and whenever I read it, I just get teary-eyed. Because yeah. you can tell it's come from the heart. And just going, seeing our journey to falling in love it just makes it so much sweeter that we were able to put that in words. Um, so yeah, no, it was beautiful. It's been it's been good, hasn't yeah. it? I think most people, at least from what we've seen, are, are pretty, you know, pretty bought in. They're like, no, they're gonna say yes. Yeah. Um, so we don't see. I haven't really seen too much, um, mm-hmm. you know, negativity around it. Of course, there's been stuff around what happened with the with Marissa and Jasmine's mom, and, and talk about that. But um, friends and family, they're all happy. Mm-hmm. Um, of course, they know our relationship mm-hmm. inside out at this point you know mm-hmm. as well so uh everyone's just buzzing for us i think we've yeah. all just been waiting for it to come out so we can finally just say we're married this is it and we can just live our lives again mm-hmm. you know and not have to sort of sneak around and keep it all under wraps mm-hmm. sure. it's funny because our family and friends say you know you guys on tv you're exactly the same in real life and um it's so funny to see because you're like yeah i am actually and it's good that we were able to stay authentic to ourselves and true to ourselves mm-hmm. and i think that's why we were very successful in this process is because mm-hmm. There was no kind of holds bar. There was no secret. We were just ourselves throughout. So yeah, it's been that- really, really difficult. I think that's been the hardest part mm-hmm. of this whole process is just keeping it a secret and, and not telling anybody. Of course, you know you've got your rings on as well, so you, you've you've seen people. Then three weeks later, you, you're married, and there's a lot of questions. Of course, it's been easier for me because I've moved to a new city. Two days after the wedding, I moved to London, so no one really knows me there. Mm-hmm. So for me, it's like I don't really have to mm-hmm. you know answer too many questions. But for mm-hmm. Jasmine, it's a lot more difficult going into work. You know, seeing friends maybe outside of a social circle that weren't involved with the mm-hmm. wedding, it's, it's been really tough keeping mm-hmm. it a secret. So I think we're just ready to lay our hair down and just say, yes, yeah. we're married. Yeah. It's, it's I've real. got a big mouth as well. Like when I'm excited <laughs> about something, I have to talk about it. So when I was wearing my ring, they're like, um, when you left for work three months ago, you weren't wearing a ring and now all of a sudden you, you're married. I'm like, no, it's just jewelry. You know, I just like to pretend that I'm married. Um, but now that they're seeing the show, they're like, you got married on, uh, you didn't even see the person, what? They, they're really like kind of mind boggled by the concept. And I'm like, you know what? I wouldn't get engaged any other way. If you know me, you'd know that this would just be my story. It just makes sense. It felt it felt really good. Of course, empowering to, to think that we, you know, were true to the experiments, we were authentic, we came out of it, you know, the same as what we went into mm-hmm, it, I guess, mm-hmm. you know? It was sad to see that not it, not everything has worked out for everybody. Of course, you're always rooting for all of the couples to work out. Sad to see, but you know, I guess that's life, isn't it? Um, mm. I think at the end of the day, I think everyone stayed true to themselves. Yeah. You know, and unfortunately, just if it's not meant to be, it's not meant to be. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think that was difficult. Yeah. But of course, it was nice to sort of you know turn up and and, and still be together. Um, you know. For sure. It was empowering. Yeah. Um, I felt proud. I'm like, that's my man. We worked hard on our relationship. We worked hard to have mm. the lifestyle that we have now. And um, I'm so proud of us. So I felt not, so proud. It's, it's, it's not, not being easy. easy, you know, as much as it's been as plain sailing as we, we could have hoped. But, you know, moving to a new city, um, you know, moving our lives now, just moved into our new home. We yeah. had to really work hard um, mm-hmm. on, on our marriage, on our relationship, make mm-hmm. compromises, mm-hmm. make sacrifices. Mm-hmm. But I think that that is really what it takes for a, for a marriage to, to succeed and for a marriage to grow. So mm-hmm. um, I'm, I'm really, really proud of us. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I am. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Bobby moved in to my place initially two days after our wedding. Um, we didn't want to waste time. We <laughs> like each other's company. So, yeah, he moved in two days after the wedding. I think now we're, you know, focusing on building a family family um saving for our forever home and um going from there and lots of traveling mm-hmm. yeah. we love traveling so yeah. 
next on the list. Yeah. Have you got a place in mm-hmm. mind for mm-hmm. your first trip together? Philippines, for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it'd be nice to, for him to see my family out there. Um, so, yeah, so mm-hmm. we're excited to see that. Because I've never been to Asia. And, yeah. of course, I want to meet all of the family, see that side, you know, mm-hmm. experience the culture. Mm-hmm. And then we want to do Jamaica as yes, well, don't we, next sure. year as well, and see mm-hmm. my side of the family. So yeah. uh, we've got a few places in mind. No, no, I wouldn't say so, thinking about it. Yeah. No. Yeah, looking back, no. No. I feel like people were, uh, not in a sense that we were asking them, oh, what are you going to say? Mm. But I just feel like seeing people's journeys, you can kind of have an inkling. Could be wrong, but I think we're pretty good judges of, uh, you know, mm. characters and journeys. Sure. And yeah, we, we knew. No, I, I definitely wasn't expecting it to go viral. I mean, uh, it was a really funny moment at the time, of course, you know, Jasmine. Thanks for the plug. Yeah. Thanks for the promotion. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the, the reaction's been uh, it's been pretty good, to be honest. I think some people like it, some people yeah. don't. That's music, you know. Mm-hmm. It is subjective, um, which is fine. But I think all in all, people love that moment. It's yeah. been a big talking point, hasn't it? So mm-hmm. I'm happy it happened. Of course, music's a massive part of my life. Um, it always will be. So it's nice that, you know, my music's... Uh, been, I guess, heard by more people and experienced yeah. by more people because that's what I wanted. And so. it's super catchy. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, as soon as you listen to it, you're literally singing it the whole day. So, um, yeah, no, I love that. Mm. And did you know you were going to wrap your proposal? Was that always the plan? No, it wasn't always the plan, but I mean, you know, we connected a lot in the pods on music. Um, you don't see a lot of that, but we spoke about music mm-hmm. quite in depth, didn't we? We've got a very similar taste in music. Um, what you also don't see is that Jasmine also rapped to me in yeah. my proposal. Amazing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I feel like we need to see that. We need to oh, release gosh. that. Maybe in the yeah. Un- uncut scenes. Yeah. <laughs> Demi actually helped me with my rap the night before. Oh, I love um, that. Because I said, you know what? My guy loves rapping. I need to show out too um, and give him, you know, love the way he sees it. So, yeah, mm. yeah I was so very it's proud like, of my rap. It's like, yeah, forgetting all the cameras and stuff and yeah. forgetting that it's a show, but, you know, it was really something that we wanted to do for each other because uh, it was a big part of, of what we connected on, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah.